This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Clinton Johnston. This week, Clever Fishies. Believe it or not, I have a lot of patience for big blockbuster Hollywood movies, because they look like they're so hard to do well. There's so much money on the line, the pressure must be enormous. And that much money on the line is a disincentive to taking bold creative steps, thus pushing you to check off the boxes of the familiar and reliable. Of course you want to open the most wallets, and that desire can dissuade you from tackling the issues that we care about and fight over, which behind the back hand ties you from making important and interesting stories. In the 40s and 50s, there were filmmakers who wanted to make anti-racist films who were stymied by studios studio owners who didn't want to lose those racist ticket dollars, under the probably correct belief that in terms of audience acquisition, it's better to disappoint than to offend. So what does all of this have to do with Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom? Well, I was all ready to come to you and complain that, in these times, you couldn't have half a brain and a third of a soul and make an Ocean King hero movie that wasn't about global warming, or at least about the island of garbage in the Pacific. And yes, this sequel doubles down on Jason Momoa's roadhouse, I'm a good family man and a great ass kicker name taker Aquaman who's threatened by Manta, you let my father drown, prepared to die, all dancing to a Leonard Skinner drumbeat of family, 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 family. But not only does the movie mention global warming, it makes it the main Main threat, but how it does it is fascinating. Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom finds a way to avoid targeting any of the economic, political, or social practices or practitioners that are causing our worldwide problem, and offers a solution that talks of global unity without seeming to ask for any changes in our status quo. Thus, they address the civilization-threatening elephant in the room without pissing off powerful climate killers and ideologically affiliated moviegoers. It's very clever. Aquaman won't save our world, but his movie is very clever. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Clinton Johnston. Catch up with us at Take Two Movie Review. Com and feed us back on our channel on YouTube.